Welcome back. In this video, I will explain the concept of complete linkage agrometric clustering with the help of simple solid example. So here we need to apply complete linkage hierarchical clustering algorithm and Euclidean distance to the given data set to construct the dendrogram. So here we need to calculate the pairwise distance between the data points by using the Euclidean distance. We will use the data points uh, that is P x1, x2 and uh, data point Q with the uh, values x2, y2. So distance between the data points P and Q which is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 bracket square plus y2 minus y1 bracket square. So, this is a data point and this one is the equation. So, first we will find the distance between the data point 1 and 1. So, we will get a 0. Next, we will find the distance between the data point 1 and 2. Uh, so, here 1 and 2, here x2 is 1, y, uh, x1 is 1. So, 1 minus 1 is 0 plus uh, y2 is 2 y1 is 4 so 2 minus 4 is minus 2 minus 2 uh, square is uh, 4 so square root of 4 is 2 next is between the data points 1 and 3 so 1 and 3 uh, here uh, 0 minus 1 bracket square is 1 and 4 minus 4 is a uh, 0 so square root of 1 is 1 similarly we will find the remaining distances once you find all the distances next we need to consider the initial clusters here all the data points are considered as its own clusters. So here we have 5 data points so that we will get the 5 clusters to C1, C2, C3, C4 and C5. After that we need to find the minimum distance among all the distances. So here we can find that minimum distance is 1 and this distance is between the clusters 1 and 3. So that we need to merge the clusters 1 and 3. So we will get the new cluster as C13. Uh, after merging the cluster C1 and C3, we will get the new clusters as C13, C2, C4 and C5. So here we need to recompute the distance using the complete linkage between the clusters C13 to C2, C13 to C4, C13 to C5. So, in the complete linkage, the distance between the uh, data points can be maximum distance between the points in the clusters. So, here we will find the distance from C13. So, that is C13 to C2. Uh, here, maximum distance between the data points 1 and 2 and data points 3 and 2. So, the distance between the data point 1 and 2 is 2 and distance between the data points 3 and 2 uh, is 2.24. So, maximum between these two values is 2.24. So, that the distance between the clusters C13 and C2 is 2.24. So, next we will calculate the distance between the clusters C13 and C4 which is equal to maximum distance between the data points 1 and 4 and the distance between the data points 3 and 4. So, here the distance between the data points 1 and 4 is 5.83 and distance between the data points 3 and 4 is 6.71. So, in these two values maximum is 6.71. So, that the distance between the cluster C13 and C4 is 6.71. Similarly, we will find the distance between the clusters C13 and C5 which is equal to 8.06. Once you find the distances from the C13, next we need to update this uh, table with the new distances. So, that is what you can see here. So, after that we need to find the minimum value in this updated table that is 1.41 which is between the cluster C4 and C5. So, here we need to merge the C4 and C5 clusters. After merging C4 and C5, we will get the new cluster C45 and uh, we will get the new clusters as uh, C13, C2 and C45. So, again we need to recompute the distance using the complete linkage between the clusters C13 to C2 and C13 to C45. 
So, first one we will calculate the distance between the cluster C13 to C2 which is equal to maximum distance between the data points uh, 1 to 3 and the data points 3 to 2 which is equal to 2.24. Next we will calculate the distance between the C13 to C45 which is equal to maximum distance between the data points 1 and 4. Uh, and data point 1 and 5 and the data points 3 and 4 and the data data points 3 and 5. So, among these values the maximum value is 8.06. So, the distance between the cluster C13 and C45 is 8.06. Similarly, we will calculate the distance between the clusters C2 and C45 which is equal to 6.32. Once you find the new distances, again we need to update this table with the new distance and after updating again we need to find the minimum value. So, the minimum value is 2.24. This is between the clusters C13 and C2. So, that we need to merge the cluster C13 and C2, we will get the new cluster C132 and the new cluster C132 and C45. Again, we need to recompute the distance using, using the complete linkage between the cluster C312 uh, to C45. So, here we can see that which is equal to maximum distance between the data points uh, 1 to 5, 1 to 4, uh, 3 to 4, 3 to 5 and uh, 2 to 4 and 2 to 5. So, among these uh, data points the maximum value is 8.06 so that the distance between the cluster 132 and C45 is 8.06. So, that is what we have written here. So, after that the final merge is between the clusters C312 and C45. So, once you merge this one uh, we will get the final cluster as C13245 with the distance 8.06. Now, we will draw the dendrogram. So, here first we will merge the clusters C1 and C3 with the merging cost 1. Next, we will merge the clusters C4 and C5 with the merging cost 1.41. Next, we will merge the cluster C4 and C5 with the merging cost 1.41. After that, we will merge the cluster C13 to C2 with the merging cost 2.24. And finally, we merge the cluster C132 with a C45 with the merging cost 8.06. This is how we can find the distances and a dendrogram using the complete linkage agglomerative clustering algorithm. I hope the complete linkage agglometric clustering algorithm is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.